It's uh, Gina. I've got a new journal that I've completed that I want to share with you guys. This is um, my design team project for Seneca Pond Crafts. Um, Eileen has a new kit out that she's named Pieces of the Past, and it is a gorgeous journal. Um, really big. Um, I can't tell you offhand how many pages, but there's loads of journal pages and several sheets of ephemera. Um, so it's a really big kit. I didn't come close to using it in this. In fact, <clears throat> after I printed it out and cut everything, I've got enough I can do another journal and I probably will be working with it very soon again. But I love the colors in this. It is beautiful. So to, just to get started, this is a fabric journal. It's a one signature. Um, and it's just got a really nice feel to it. It's The closure is sewn in with um, sari silk ribbon. And then on the front here, I've just um, <coughs> created a pocket here. This is one of the tags from the kit. And on the back, I've stamped this book belongs to. So that fits down in there. And then I just did some um, collaging with some various... Um, laces I picked up this weekend from the flea market and then just some buttons that I've sewn on so that's the cover and then inside I've created um, these little uh, it's like it was kind of like a doily and I've cut those into pockets so you've got that on the front and the back cover and then <clears throat> here I've just this is one of the elements from the kit. I've just made a little notepad out of it. Um, it's a big, it's a pretty big signature. I don't know offhand how many pages, but I just added, you know, a few other little notebooks <laughs> throughout it so that you'd have extra writing space. And then this is just some various bits of ephemera from my own stash. I love the colors in this. Um, it's very, um, it's got a, a really nice vintage feel to this um, kit. I've tea dyed the papers, so there's no white papers in here. And then this just flips out, and I've created another little tuck spot here. And these are some of the little, um, like the mini file um, Rolodex cards that come with it. You get several of those and then lots of these little tags here as well. So there's a little tuck spot there. I love how, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Eileen has collaged the papers so you get a really beautiful uh, vintage look to it. Um, here I've done, this is one of the um, tickets from the um, kit. I've just made a little tuck spot there. This is a pocket. And then in here I've just created another little journal card that's all backed with tea dyed paper. I did some stamping on the muslin here and then I've stitched around that. And then within the pocket you've got, this is one of the um, tags from the kit. This is one of the postcards I've backed with tea dyed paper. And this is another of the tags that comes, or ticket, uh, journal cards, sorry. <laughs> and then this was just an extra piece I had within my stash. So, tucked all those in there. This is a doily that's been tea dyed. Um, this paper, I did experiment with some doilies on my um, tea dyeing this time. So you do get a light impression of it, which is really pretty. Um, what I did, I just tea dyed them and then I laid the doily on top and let it dry that way and it pulled out some of the color and left the impression so that was a lot of fun to do. Old vintage French book page. This is another of the pages. I love the collaging on that. I like the fact that Eileen takes a lot of the work out of um, creating journals for us because she, she does a lot of the collaging so if you're not into collaging you don't have to worry. Um, it's all kind of been done for you. And I love that this. She always includes some really interesting uh, little tags and tucks and things. And this one, I just <clears throat> turned it into a, a belly um, 
belly band here and then that opens up so that you can do some some more journaling there and then this is one of the mason jars isn't that beautiful love it really have enjoyed working with this um, she gives you the tabs so you can see that isn't that beautiful this is just some um, grid paper that I've tea dyed. I love these pages. They've got a really pretty, um, like a green, it's kind of like a green and gold tint to those. This is one of the um, tags from the kit. Beautiful. And then I created, um, this is a coin envelope that I've just clipped on. I haven't put anything inside the coin envelope. Oh, oh, this is stuck. Let me see if I can get my own folder and get this loose. Sometimes I stick these tags in before that glue has dried and uh, they get stuck down in there. Boy, that one doesn't want to budge. There we go. So there's the tag. I've done some machine stitching around it and then um, attached it to the coin envelope. And like I said, there's nothing in it, but it's just been clipped in so that you can add something. Uh, index card, a uh, piece of a ledger that's been tea dyed. Another bit of the um, background page. And I love these little journal cards. I like the fact that they're they're not completely square. They're just like a quirky little shape. And that one is adorable. And then this is one of the little envelopes that you get. You get several of these. So I've just inked those up and tucked it in here. Here's an Edith Holden um, envelope that I've adhered down. So you've got uh, a place back here to tuck things and then inside as well. I've done um, the tearing of the pages with my ruler along all of these edges. That's the center of the signature. Isn't that page beautiful? Really pretty collaging going on. Um, this has been backed with more tea dyed paper, and these are some more elements from the kit. This is a different kit Eileen's got in her shop. Those are gorgeous. I, I can't recall, uh, but I will put the link for that as well, because I think those are floral tags. or Yeah, I think they're called floral tags, but I'm not, not certain about that. A couple more elements from the kit, and this little envelope has just been sewn in on the page, so... I've tried to do quite a bit of little stitching um, in this journal. Another book uh, tab, sorry. <laughs> uh, and then here is one of the um, window envelopes and this is another of the postcard that's been backed. Another one of the little journal cards from the kit. So those show through which is really, really sweet. Lots of writing spaces you can see. I always try to leave a lot of room if you want to add, you know, other bits of ephemera or um, if you just purely want it for journaling. This is an Edith Holden page that I've stitched in so it flips out. And then again, I've done uh, the same thing here, giving you writing space and then made it into a belly band. This has uh, been machine stitched. And these both are part of the kit. It is a big, big kit. Um, Eileen's kits always are, are very, very large. And like I said, <clears throat> I didn't come anywhere near using all of the ephemera in it. I made a little journal card here. And then this is one of the tags from the kit. And here I've just done a little, I aged the paper clip and then did a little um, stitching on there. And then this is another one of the little <coughs> envelopes and tags that comes in the kit. 
And then this is another envelope that she's included. Put a postcard in there. And <clears throat> that's been tucked on the back here. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Honored memories. I love that. And then this back um, cover I've included. This is another one of the envelopes. I've just left it open so that you can do some writing. I love that. And then I did <clears throat> one of these little notepads. This has got vintage ledger, music sheet, all sorts of things in there. And that's been tucked in. So you've got a lot of writing space here. And this is Pieces of the Past. Um, that's what I've named the journal, and that's the title of the journal kit. I'll leave the link below for you guys to check out. And this will be up in my, Etsy, or in my shop for sale, so if you guys are interested, you can just check the link below. I hope everybody's having a great start to the week. I did manage to go to... The flea market, but unfortunately, um, I didn't find much this time. There was a couple of supplies that I needed, but those weren't very exciting, so I didn't bother, um, to, you know, to share those. But um, yeah, I didn't have a lot of luck. I really enjoyed it. Um, there seemed to be a really great mix of um, sellers there, but nothing journal related. Um, and like I said, I just nothing that I was really tempted to buy. So. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to show you guys uh, from that, but I do still love going, even if I don't find things. Um, I still get a kick out of going out there because you just see all sorts of things. It's such a great, great flea market. But I hope everybody had a really nice holiday weekend, and I hope that you're having a good start to the week, and I will be back here very soon. Take care. Bye.